recent upsurge of interest in marginal field developments has encouraged offshore oil companies to invest more in the floating production market. The most common concepts are the conventional tanker-based FPSO and semi-submersible FPS with an attending storage vessel. Both have their positive attributes, but also their down points. The FPSO for excessive motions and the FPS for its lack of integrated storage. Taking the best characteristics from both concepts, a third more versatile design has evolved. The multi-purpose semi-submersible. The MPSS, as it's known, is unique with its square sections for ease in construction and maintenance and its considerable oil storage capacity in the lower hull. The simplicity of this modular design ensures that whether additional cargo capacity or increased deck space are required, the answer is simple. Add a section. Its unique cargo oil water ballast displacement system maintains a constant draft throughout production and offloading cycles. The beauty of the concept is that it uses only existing, proven ship technology, resulting in a simple and economic construction. Its right angle joints give excellent structural continuity and easy access to below deck areas for maintenance. This hull design also results in a low stress structure with a long fatigue life. The modular principle is created by arranging flat panels to form standard uniform boxes making the MPSS easily constructible for either a shipyard slipway or in its dry dock. Therefore, fabricating the vessel does not require the usual offshore construction yard's advanced state of technology. It can be built almost anywhere. The completed hull can be transferred to remote site for topside's installation, or, if the client dictates, the MPSS can be completed at the fabrication shipyard. Installing the modular form of process and utility packages will be well within the capacity of most shipyards or medium-sized offshore construction firms. The base design philosophy, dimensions and structural configuration have already led to approval in principle certificates being issued by Lloyd's Register, Detnorsk Veritas and the American Bureau of Shipping. This means the development of the design for any size vessel would be relatively simple and as the industry dictates, becomes fast track. Model testing of a prototype showed that its motions were minimal for normal North Sea conditions, and when confronted with a steep fronted wave of 37.5 meters, still no green water reached the deck. The vessel's stability was also checked. One column open to the sea created only a five degree list proving that even in this extreme condition, its safety is never in doubt, with a massive reserve of buoyancy remaining in its hull. An economic analysis verified by an independent organization shows that the cost differential between a standard tanker-based FPSO and the fabricated price for an equivalent MPSS can be as much as 40% in favor of the MPSS. Many additional innovations have been developed during the design phase. For example, the use of steel tube production risers held in tension, similar to methods used in conventional subsea pipe laying. A concept that would replace the expensive flexible risers normally associated with floating production systems, making installation and if necessary abandonment very cost effective by using the vessel's integrated fast active mooring system connect-disconnect and quick-release tensioning equipment. The final mooring configuration will depend on field environments, but a 12-point catenary spread is computed to be sufficient for the harshest North Sea conditions, and water depths up to 1,000 meters. In recognition of the need to improve safety offshore, Seaways Engineering commissioned Lloyds to undertake a risk analysis of the MPSS. This work has been successfully completed and Lloyd's Department of Safety Technology stated there are no inherent weaknesses in the Seaways design concepts, systems and arrangements with respect to the safety features inherent within the semi-submersible. The box structure provides substantial survival capability even in the event of impact damage to any column. The Seaways Semi is simply safer. It has the advantage, however, because of its cellular structure, 
inside that were there any damage arising from a collision or an explosion, it would be more confined damage and the spread of water would be less. And indeed, the stability characteristics of this rig are exceptionally good. All in all, the Seaways Marine Multipurpose Semi-Submersible is reputed to be a 5S design for the future. Safe concept, simple design, swift to construct, size benefits, saves money. The sixth would be snags. But as Professor Faulkner stated, the only snag is that no one believes that such a vessel can be built so cheaply. That's the snag. The industry should have no doubt, MPSS is a benchmark and the way forward for all future offshore floating projects.